welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And today's topic is freezing points of different liquids. I have in front different liquids uh, that I have pulled from my home kitchen that I encourage you to look through and try to find the same, or you could even try different ones. Each one of these represents a different variable that we're gonna be testing in our scientific home experiment. Now, a freezing point is the point in which a liquid transforms into a solid. Now, our control group, which is number one here, is tap water. Now, water on Earth will freeze, its freezing point is at zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you have different chemicals, they have different freezing points, different times. It takes them a little bit longer, a little bit cooler. And with this experiment and these different variable chemicals, we can see how long or how short of a time it takes for them to freeze in your home freezer. So first thing, you will need to gather your chemicals. Each one of these are in a different glass. And these glasses are about an ounce each. So I recommend you doing an ounce or two tablespoons worth of your uh, chemical that you find in your home kitchen uh, to add to your ice cube tray. So I have my tray here. This is a silicone one. The plastic ones work just fine as well. So this one happens to be a six. So I have six samples here, but standard ice trays have 12. So if you wanted to do 12 samples or two of each of these, one example on each side, that works too. However you wanna set up your experiment, that is up to you, the home scientist. But I have my ice tray here. And to document our experiment along the way, I recommend you put in your journal, I drew out my ice tray grid and numbered my chemicals that I found in my home kitchen. Uh, the lines through number one represent that is water, that is the control group. And that one is the one that I know the freezing point, which is zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So adding to the variables that I wanna test, these next five are the ones that I don't know the freezing point or the amount of time that it takes for them to freeze. So the first, right after uh, our control group, is salt water as our number two. Three is lemon juice. Four is apple cider vinegar. And five is extra virgin olive oil. And six is milk. I used whole milk. So if you use different milk, I recommend you write down whether it's skim milk, 2%, it has possibly a different freezing point. So I have made that grid. And with our grids, I also recommend you make a chart so that you can list your liquids, your one through six or more. And then we're going to document how many hours of observation it takes for these to freeze inside of the freezer and then along the way writing down our observations. I'm going to go ahead and add here to my ice cube tray my different chemicals. So number one, I'm going to add my tap water. Two is the salt water. Three is the lemon juice. Four is the vinegar. Five is the oil, the extra virgin olive oil. And six is the whole milk. So I have those in my ice tray. The next thing I need to do is put them in the freezer. This is an aerial view of the ice tray so you can see them divided inside each of the ice tray compartments and this is before i put it 
in the freezer. All right, so I have my ice tray with my various home chemicals in the tray at my home freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide these into the freezer and take my hourly observations out inside my journal and uh, I'm gonna pop it in, come back an hour later and check on it. All right, so we'll be back in an hour to check the freezing points. Stay tuned. It has now been an hour since we put our chemicals into the freezer to test their freezing points. Uh, what we're going to do now, since it's been the first hour, we're going to see if any have reached their freezing point. I have here with me on my cutting board slash clipboard the sort of data sheet with observations and my Sharpie to make any notes that I need to, but I have in my hand a toothpick and that's the best thing to use to test out each one of the freezing points. So if it tap, tap, taps and it's solid, that means that it has reached its freezing point. So let me go through and check each one. So going through with my toothpick to test, oh, there's some solid right there. That's our control group with our tap water. Here's our salt water. Nope, not quite yet. It's got some solid pushback. Uh, here's our lemon juice. Nope, it's got some solid to it, but it's still liquid. Uh, looks like we have our, oh, that one is not at all frozen. That one is our vinegar. This one is our oil. Yeah, as you can see, it's nothing frozen at all. And then last, we have our milk, oh, which is pretty solid, but still isn't as solid as our control group, the water. So let's give it another hour and see what happens. We have now reached the second hour with the chemicals freezing or reaching their freezing points in the freezer. So I'm gonna go again with my toothpick and my observation sheet, data sheet here, and test each one. So from earlier, our water, tap water was solidified, but even more so now. Our salt water, up, oh, it has solidified, but it is, oh, there's some spots there, with, but it is taking a lot longer to solidify or freeze. Our lemon juice, up, oh, has solidified. The apple cider vinegar has also solidified, but not, oh, there's some, some spots that have not. The oil is just as liquefied as it was when I put it in first. And the milk oh, has frozen solid. So I encourage you to keep up with your experiment, see how long each one of your chemicals can go before they completely freeze over and sort of describe which chemical, if any, doesn't freeze at all. So I continue with this experiment going forward, putting it in your hands. Make sure you do this experiment, post your observations, post your pictures in the comments below. And sometimes some of these may not freeze, some may freeze all the way through, but continuing and doing science, remember science never stops.